Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of TMI365. In today's episode, I'm going to be covering all the updates for Microsoft in February 2022. If you've watched my update videos in the past, you know I focus in on what's relevant to the MSP space, blocking out the noise of the 100 or so announcements that come from Microsoft each month. Getting into it here, I'm going to start off with Microsoft Teams as I usually do. This first one here is related to chat density. It's pretty straightforward. It's just the view that you can select under the settings portion of your Teams environment, and this will compact your chat here, so you can add about 50% more content to the page without having to scroll up and down. So this was released mid-February, supposed to be complete by the end of February, so a lot of you may be seeing this already today. Next one here is also pretty straightforward, and again, probably is already in market for you as well too. Just giving you the visibility here at a per user level to see all the Teams channels they're part of within the Teams Admin Center here, under the Manage Users section. So again, this is likely already available as it came out early February, be complete by the end of February. This next one here I think is the largest announcement from a Teams perspective this month. This Teams Connect shared channels, something that was announced at Microsoft Ignite. And this is something that is introducing a new way to collaborate both with users internally as well as external users without having to add them as guest users within your organization. So it's splitting off of the standard or public channel, private channel model into the shared model as well too. And this is something that you can use within your organization to easily add other team members outside your organization, as well as just teams in general that can be bolted on without having to add a per user uh, member at a time. So lots to unpack there. I'll probably do another blog post and YouTube channel just specifically about that. But the public pre preview won't actually come out until late March. So I'll have a little bit more time here until I actually dive in a little bit further. But it's pretty interesting, uh, this new way that you can collaborate within Teams. Last one for Microsoft Teams here, this LinkedIn integration, pretty straightforward. Just adding this tab at the top of your chat, conversations, your one-on-one -on -one chats with your users here. You can add to your LinkedIn profile. I think that's cool just to help with a growing or expanding organization or somebody coming in want to learn a little bit more about the backgrounds of other users they may be interacting with. This will happen mid-March, be complete by early April. Shifting into the admin perspective here, a couple of housekeeping items first and foremost. First one for Office, Microsoft is blocking VBA macros by default here over the internet. So this is something that might cause disruption to your end users. Specifically, if they're sharing certain files with macros in them to external users outside the organization. So Microsoft is blocking this by default. This is the message that they will see if it is blocked. It's kind of more of a diagram of how it's blocked through the chain of events and what a trusted location truly is for a user where it wouldn't get blocked. So there's a lot to unpack here, not enough to cover in this video. I'll have links in my blog post here about this one that you can do further investigation and then assess if this is something that you should try to investigate across your customers just to see if this is something that might be disruptive and get ahead of any support requests or calls. From the timeline perspective, this will happen in version 2203 in the preview channel, which is in April. So if you're running the current channel for your office updates, you'll likely have a little bit more time than that, but it is something that I would investigate. Another housekeeping one here, Microsoft starting this retirement superseded Azure AD Connect Sync connections and the version history that's been over time here. So this is a retirement of these past versions and likely if you're using Azure AD Connect today, you're keeping up with the most latest versions, which are in the upper twos today um, as far as the version history goes. I'll link again all the versions that are being retired. You guys can investigate. Whether you need to take any action, just know that it could cause disruption in service as well as you not being able to get any support once you get past these time frames here. So the first one that's mentioned here is mid-March of 2023. This is when they're going to enforce this policy, start retiring these older versions of Azure AD Connect. But there's also this one um, where they're retiring all the version 1 uh, iterations of this come August just because of some other considerations. So just note, I would really go through and check those things out just to make sure you avoid any disruption in service if you're running an older version. Next one here is related to some new reporting coming in for Power Automate. This is a usage report coming in. Power Automate, I think, is becoming more popular. We're running these low-code, no-code apps for our customer environments. And this is something that's just connected to Power BI within the admin center of a tenant that you can view to look a little bit more about the usage 
and uh, individual statistics about the power apps within that organization. So that will roll out public preview mid-February, so if you're part of the public preview, you could probably access it. Uh, GA dates are still TBD. Last one here is about NewCommerce. I can't really get away from a monthly update without talking about NewCommerce. A couple of announcements here. One is pretty big and actually is a good benefit for us as well here too. They are making customer subscriptions coterminous, meaning that you have today, if you purchase a new NewCommerce subscription, you'll have one single renewal date. Then six months later, if you purchase another one, you'd have another renewal date that's specific to that one. They're changing that policy to make it coterminous so that it mirrors the original subscription that you purchased as well. So you don't have to worry about this overhead of multiple different renewal dates for a single customer. Big piece of that with billing is that it will be prorated based off of the time remaining in the original or initial new commerce subscription. Just so you know from that perspective, there's a lot of asterisks to this that you'll have to go through. I'll have more of that on my blog that you want to check out. The other announcement here was that multi-year agreements, like the three-year commitments for M365 products, are basically delayed till later in 2022. So if you were talking to your customers about those types of contracts moving into them, it might be best to delay those conversations and just get them into the one-year or the monthlies, just because they're not slated to be out now for the bulk of, to, of this year, essentially. So as far as the coterminous uh, relationship policy that goes, it's introduced into a sandbox come March, meaning that some of the partners and CSP1s will start to be able to play around with this um, and just understand a little bit more about the limitations potentially or how this all works behind the scenes. There's no official GA date yet, and honestly, it'll be a per distributor basis if you're working with a distributor today when they would come out with this functionality. So just wanted to relay that big news there coming for new commerce, good in this sense, um, but something that can reduce our operational overhead at least at a per customer level. So that's everything I wanted to showcase for you guys in today's update video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment them below. Otherwise, like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft and the MSP space. Thanks guys, have a great day.